Hey, what's going on everybody? Rob Satch from Feedback Wrench. Not a ton of you see these, but those that do, we wanna help entrepreneurs, right? I wanna help uh, business owners, I wanna help you pay your fair share in taxes, I wanna help you build your own tax firm if you're a CPA or accountant. And uh, I just wanna share with you one of the most impactful things that ever happened to me in my life because I think it'll be helpful for you. I'm a jerk. I'm proud. I think I know everything. Um, I overvalue what I value. And I'm not just saying that to be glib. I am the quintessential older brother syndrome that uh, can bulldoze people, that can be a little much sometimes, that can be really frustrating for leaders. I'm hard to lead sometimes. And uh, I'm 37 and I've slowly gotten to a point where I start to know some of that about myself, right? But what it is that got me there is not just experience, and I need this more than anybody else, okay? Most of you listening to this don't need the adjustments that I need. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like a super butthead, right? But the thing that helped me the most was going through what's called an awareness exercise, okay? Now, in modern society, it seems like we hear that everybody has anxiety, everybody feels bullied, and everybody gets a trophy for everything, that success is kind of... People think it's all corporations that are successful and people aren't, but I think the most helpful thing that ever happened to me was that I got coached on how to seek humility and with that humility, start trying to gain perspective from other people's point of view. Wisdom comes from knowing other people's perspective. And the thing I did was I did what's called an awareness exercise or an EQ 360. Big corporations always do this crap, right? But us entrepreneurs, we don't have the budget to get into this mamby-pamby awareness exercise stuff. But here's what it was. I chose like 10 or 15 colleagues, 10 or 15 family members, 10 or 15 people that knew me, that were for me, but really knew me, who'd worked with me before. And we sent them an anonymous electronic survey and I had to get turnout. So we sent the survey out to like 60 people and I had to work hard to like, Hey guys, I actually really need your help. Will you please take you know, 45 minutes to do a good version of this? And uh, here's what they were asked. So it was a series of questions and it was yes or no questions. Then it was how likely do you think it is that Rob can address this? But here's what they are. What's Rob like at his worst or best and worst? What's it like to be around Rob when he's at his best? What's it like to be around Rob when he's at his worst? What do Rob's biggest critics say about him? Even if you don't agree. What do my critics say about, even if you don't agree, even if you like Rob and you think he's worth it, for the people that don't think it's worth it to be around him, what do they say? I mean, that's just permission to gossip. And uh, it's anonymous. So you don't know who said what. And I tell you what, I've done two of these. I did one as a result of ticking off a bunch of people at the church I worked at. <laughs> it was not good. I was headstrong. And part of it's because I was acting too much of a contrarian and rather than being humble and letting people lead me, just executing on the strategy they wanted to, I kept bucking the strategy and complaining. It's not good. It's helpful now that I'm a consultant, now that I, like all my strengths were that way, but it wasn't helpful in the context that I was. But I guess my feedback is if you're looking to grow, if you want to get better, you should start finding out whether people think you're wise, what's it like to be around you when you're at your worst, and start to get intimate with that. And the reason why that's so valuable is because in essence, so there's two sides to this. One, I believe that each one of us are created in the image of God. I think humans are far above animals. I think that there's a purpose and a soul that will stand before our maker. Now you might not think that and that's fine. I think there's a compelling reason to say, why all reality has cause and that that causality is probably a person since we have information all around us and it's only a thinking mind or a mind that has ever created information. I think there's a compelling reason to, to be at least a theist and I think that there's a more compelling reason to believe in the Christian God. That being said, I think there's meaning behind who you are and if you embrace this idea that the people around you um, 
have a perception that you need to get in touch with, it's important that you first love yourself or know that you are made in the image of God, that you matter, and that even in, though there's 4.6 billion peoples in the, people in this universe, you're special, you're worthy, or you can be made worthy, and that you're loved, and that you're very important, that you matter, and that there's greatness in you, either waiting to get out or even in its current form. You're made in the image of your creator and it's worth getting out. So love yourself. I'd say love God, get to know him, get to know your creator. But from there, you wanna look critically at yourself. I know that I look at my own deeds far more gracefully than I look at the deeds of others. You know, you get, I'm, I'm a, a huge critic when I see other people doing things. I can see the bad in them very easily. And then when I do the same thing, I'm like, oh, just give me a break. Right? So super critic of everybody else and super graceful with myself. I'd be willing to bet that you're, you're that way too in some way. So how do you get around that? I think there's some great books around personal awareness. I think there's a, a thing called the EQ360. EQ360. Um, you usually have to pay a consultant to do it, but that's worth looking into. I, I'd highly recommend it. Um, doing a strengths assessment, strengths from Gallup, strengths finder, and then finding out what you're, how you're supposed to be led is really good. But there's some cool anonymous surveys that you can do to get some perspective. It could even just sit down and say, you know what, help me understand without rose colored glasses, what it, what's it really like to be on the other side of the table from me? Because ultimately we go through life and I think we leave a wake. Henry Cloud says this, in the wake on one side, we've got how we get things done our tasks, do we do things, do we get things done, and two, on the other side, the wake, like a wake boat going through the water, you know, the other side of the wake, it's how we leave people feeling. We should get in touch with what that is, and if you can do that, that's really helpful for personal development, because I've learned a lot about myself, I know how big of a butthead I am, um, and when you can start becoming more aware of that, then you can actually address it. Good luck, guys. I hope this is helpful. I just want to add value to your life.